I hate that we're going to have to talk about Fox News, everybody. I really do, because you know how I feel about Fox News. I, I hate having to talk about the incredibly credible or, uh, news organization that totally doesn't peddle right-wing propaganda uh, on the internet and on the TV, uh, who has the most uh, watched newscaster of all time, Tucker Carlson. I, I don't like talking about this company uh, that peddles in lies on the internet all the time. I, I don't. But alas... I'll have to anyway. So we're going to have to talk about my favorite news organization. Because if we don't, I don't know how I'm going to be able to, to, to handle myself. Vulpine Tyrant, thank you very much for redeeming your points for an arada. You fucking monster. Also, let's go ahead and get to the fan art section before we talk about uh, Fox News, okay? Okay. XYZ Barcode Busboy. Thank you very much for this piece. They said, currently making Baby Cirrus fan art while watching stream. Is that kitty... Ki it, kitty milk. There's kitty milk there. Ha. Huh. Next one we have is from Ivana Dragmire. It is another work in progress. Uh, this is a sneak piece before the mm. line art was put onto this piece. Added snacks and raz. We'll take a more close look at this piece when we get to the finished version. But the last one we have is from Backflip. I joined the server just so I could share this. I was inspired by the video, The Fundamental Brokenness of American Exceptionalism. At around 4.14 in the video, I swear Cirrus sounded like Lumpy Space Princess. But hey, at least it's not a coin. Oh my god, you guys. If you, like, took a gun every minute, you would, like, be doing it for 500 years. <laughs> thank you very much, Backflip, and thank you, Ivana, and also thank you, XZY Barcode. Each and every one of you, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, please consider throwing your fan art into the fan art section of the Discord. With that said, let's get into the video itself after I do the plugging that YouTube makes me do. Uh, because I'm, I'm not, I don't do a good job of plugging myself, not in that way. Don't use slime that way. Uh, no, what I mean is not saying, hey, if you haven't subscribed already, maybe consider doing that. If you haven't hit the like button or the bell notification icon, those would be awesome things to do as well. And maybe even continue going on to Patreon where you can get behind the scenes stuff for the channel. I did an entire behind the scenes bit on too many games over there. And I also did several uh, behind the scenes vlog episodes over there as well. So... If you want to see more about the stuff that goes on when I'm not live, then maybe check that out. With that said, let's go ahead and get into the Fox News stuff. So well, what are we talking about today? Well, you remember the story uh, that came out about the 10-year-old who was in Ohio and had to travel to Indiana specifically so that they would be able to get an abortion. We remember that story? Cool. So there's a lot of people in my comment section and elsewhere who have been trying to say that uh, that story was proven fake. It was debunked. Now, that's an interesting take when the man who raped the child has been charged, who apparently is the girl's uncle, it's a very interesting take. Would that I lived in the fantasy world where anything uncomfortable that happens on the news was actually just a giant elaborate hoax? I mean, considering that it's the exact same place that Marjorie Taylor Greene sits in when she says stuff like this, which we'll get into before the uh, article itself, Here's what I have to say. I mean, two shootings on July 4th, one in a rich white neighborhood and the other at a fireworks display. It almost sounds like it's designed to persuade Republicans to go along with more gun control. I mean, after all, remember, we didn't see that happen at all the pride parades in the month of June. But as soon as we hit MAGA month, as soon as we hit the month that we're all celebrating, loving our country, we have shootings on July 4th. I mean, that's, oh, you know, that would sound like a conspiracy theory, right? Of course. But what's the definition of a right-wing conspiracy theory? Well, by the way, 
it's the news that's just six months early. Now, so remember, these people live in a fantasy world. They do. They have to, to believe stuff like this. When real awful things happen, it's got to be a psyop from the government. It's got to be some type of terrible thing that uh, Joe Biden has concocted in the back of a pizzeria. It's got to be that. It can't be that something real happened here. Uh, but there's more to it than that. Here we have a, a bit of a bit of a thing for you. Let's let's go ahead and play. Primetime covered this story heavily on Monday put on the pressure and now we're glad that justice is being served yeah remember it totally didn't happen uh but the way that fox news has to spin this remember when we when we looked at fox news's website they barely even played lip service to this instead they wanted to have their entire the entirety of their coverage be based on a republican uh politician saying their piece about this as opposed to the event that actually happened. But when they cover the event itself, it's gotta be through this lens. Illegal, charged with rape of a 10 year old. The focus is not on the victim anymore. The focus is not on the fact that he was potentially a family member. No, the, the focus is on the fact that he's an immigrant. Remember, people are not illegal. This man is a terrible piece of shit human being, but he's still a human being. He deserves every terrible thing that can possibly happen to him. But to focus things on the illegality of where he lives, as opposed to the illegality of the thing he fucking did, I think it shows Fox News' bias, but let's continue. Why isn't anybody talking about bringing the child rapist to justice? Are you telling- Yeah? People are talking about bringing the child rapist to justice. What the fuck are you talking about? Tell me, no one's trying to arrest a child rapist in Ohio because I know Ohio and they don't tolerate that there. If Nobody tolerates a child rapist anywhere, my guy. And just because we are focused on the victim does not necessarily mean we don't also want the perpetrator brought to justice. Who the fuck actually says with their whole chest, the rapist doesn't need to have terrible things happen to them. The rapist does not need to be thrown through the the penal system who who says that who believes that now you can say what you want about the need for our penal system to be severely reformed because it does but that doesn't mean that the rapist does not deserve to go there if there's a 10 year old child abuser out there on the streets of ohio he needs to be brought to justice child abuser my guy can you please use the full word say it with your chest rapist child rapist that's the word we're looking for rapist and if so-called doctors are covering up child rape they need to be prosecuted no nobody's covering up child rape they're literally just trying to not have things be public when they can stay with the police officers so you know that idea uh Alex Mex, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, you know that idea where somebody who lets out public information on an investigation that's happening right now uh, can actually cause the investigation to go awry. They can cause the investigation to get fucked up by leaking those details uh, before the police are done with their investigation. You know that idea? This is literally just that. Not to mention by getting that information out there more publicly as opposed to handling it just with the local law enforcement involved, you create a scenario where now the 10-year-old girl is identified and she gets to be made a victim of more people. You get to make her relive the trauma a thousand times over as Republicans now cram their shit down her throat. But none of that is thought about by Fox News. Fox News would rather just pretend that Justice being served automatically means that the entire situation will now magically go away. Ohio detectives did their part, but there's still a lot of unanswered questions besides the girl not needing to cross state lines to Indiana for the abortion and whether the alleged rapist's immigration status played any role in the cover-up. Caitlin Bernard, the abortion doctor who performed the operation in Indiana, 
has a legal requirement to report the abortion to both child services and the state's health department because a 10-year-old isn't able to give consent and is therefore a rape victim. Yay, at least he said it. At, at, at least he said it. <laughs> and from what we can find out so far, this Indiana abortion doctor has covered this up. Failure to report is nothing new, though, for Dr. Bernard. According to reporting from PJ Media, she has a history of failing to report child abuse cases. And our sources, as Trace mentioned, are telling Fox that Dr. Bernard's employer, Indiana University Health, has already filed a HIPAA violation against her. So, is a criminal charge next? So let's talk about that. Now, I don't know the actual history where this person is concerned, where Dr. Bernard is concerned. In fact, we can look that up here real quick. Dr. Bernard history of not reporting. Let's take a look here. Do, 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 do. Let's take a look here. Indiana State. Indiana Associated General says state will look at the license of a doctor who provided abortion to a 10-year-old rape victim. Uh, Caitlin Bernard, a obstetrician gynecologist, publicly shared earlier this month in an interview that she would be assisting the young girl uh, who was prohibited from getting an abortion. The case has been the focus of intense scrutiny. According to Bernard, she was contacted by a colleague who's a child abuse doctor in Ohio. Uh, Rock appeared on Fox News Wednesday, where he referred to Bernard as an abortion activist acting as a doctor. If you are a doctor and you have... A PA, if you have a doctorate and you do medicine, you're a doctor. Like, that's how that works. You do the medical shit, you do it as a job, you're a doctor. And yeah, no, this isn't parody. This is, this is real. To say that you're, you can be an abortion activist and also be a doctor. I'm an abortion activist and also a streamer. And also a gamer. And also the list goes on. I'm for a lot of things. I am against a lot of things. I can be those things whilst also being my job. So we're gathering evidence as we speak. I think this is uh, I think we need to finish this video before we continue, because I think he's going to get into that. And will Dr. Bernard lose her license? Let's ask the Indiana Attorney General, Todd Rokita. So what's going on, Todd? Jesse, thanks for having me on, but I shouldn't be here, right? I mean, first of all, uh... yeah, you, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be talking about this on Fox News. You should be shutting your fucking mouth. That's what you should be doing. Uh, what happened is a person needed an abortion and a person got one, and that's about as far as that needed to go. Where that's concerned, there are plenty of reasons why somebody might not want to say who has actually harmed them. There can be shit tons of repercussions where that's concerned. But I don't know those details, so I'm not going to claim to act like I do. This is an illegal immigration issue because likely of biden's lawlessness at the border and everything going on down there that's why indiana Li biden's lawlessness at the border that's what we're making this so instead of talking about the victim we have to talk about immigration and how immigration bad that's 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 what fox news is doing jesus fucking christ how do these people maintain jobs as anchors and pundits and politicians how how the fuck do they do that? Uh, as a non-border state has actually filed several independent lawsuits on that. Then we have the rape. And then we have this uh, abortion activist acting as a doctor with a history of failing to report. So we're gathering the information. We're gathering the evidence as we speak. And we're going to fight this uh, to the end, uh, including looking at her licensure. Uh, if she failed to report and in Indiana, it's a crime. So it looks like uh, Bernard reported the 10-year-old's abortion by filing a form through the Indiana Department of Health and Department of Child Services, on which she noted that the patient had been abused. Wait, so did he just lie? Did the Attorney General on Fox News, noted organization that cares about truth, justice, and the American way, did he just lie on live television? about the documentation that can be clearly found? Did he do that? 
did he focus the entirety of his if his argument on the immigration status because he knows that he doesn't have a case otherwise with his base are they really trying to punish a doctor for saving a child's life and mentality yes that's exactly what they're doing uh, for uh, to not report to intentionally not report. So what kind of a crime is it to not report a child rape to state authorities? And, and then tell us why it's a crime I not mean, to report. Well, of course, because it's, if you a child it, like and right here, there's a strong public interest in understanding, you know, if someone under the age of 16 or under the age of 18 or really any woman is be, is having an abortion in our state. And then if a child's being sexually abused, of course. Uh, parents need to know, authorities need to know, public policy experts need to know. We all Wait, so if any? Hold on, please, t please tell me that I didn't just hear him say, if any woman has an abortion, all authorities need to know. Please tell me I didn't hear that. I'm gonna re-listen to that, because maybe I heard it wrong. But let's let's see if he did say that complete dumb shit. And there's a strong public interest in understanding, you know, if someone under the age of 16 or under the age of 18 or really any woman is be, is having an abortion in our state. And then if a child's being sexually abused, of course, uh, parents need to know. Authorities need to know. OK, OK. So I so those two statements are are far enough apart. They're far enough apart. There is the qualifier, if a child is involved, then everyone needs to know. There is a qualifier there. Maybe, if we were to steel man his statement, maybe he does not mean that all authorities need to know and need to be involved. Because it would be interesting that directly after repealing Roe v. Wade, where abortion was provided to people on the merit of it being a matter of public privacy, it would be weird for him to take that angle directly afterwards, wouldn't it? Said, where are the girl's parents? How'd the rapist get in contact with the 10-year-old? He was her uncle. From what I understand, he was her uncle. Did you know that 80% of sexual assaults that happen in the United States happen where uh, happen with someone that you know, that you trust, that is close to you and your family? 80% of rapes happen with people you know, trust, and in many cases, love. In this case, that seems to be what happened. But that's an allegedly thing. I don't know if it was really her uncle. I'm uncertain. But that is the claim that has been floating around. Her Schrodinger says that sounded like a hell of a backpedal. It depends. It depends. So on the one hand, it could be a backpedal, in which case he believes that all women need to have their stuff reported all the times. Um, and as a result, then he's saying something completely and totally, uh, insane. If he is instead saying when a child's involved, authorities need to know that in most cases, I agree. There are some cases where a family may choose to, there are some cases where it may actually harm the child more to go after the person involved because there may be multiple people in the family who are okay with that happening. And therefore you create a world where it is hell on earth for that child. When you convict one of the people involved, that is a thing that happens in a rarity of cases, but it is a consideration to note. Are you making this person's world worse? Now, granted, there is the ability to get child protective services involved and get the child out of that situation and get them somewhere where they will hopefully be abused less. But here's the thing. When you're 10 years old, you don't necessarily know all the pertinent information or even what is considered normal. For a lot of people, when they get abused that young, to them, that is their normal. And it can be very hard for them to communicate that something is wrong when to them, that's their normal. Kind of curious, how does a family member like that hide their intent for so long? Well, studies have shown that usually it comes down to being inebriated. Most of the time when a 
when intent to harm a child like that is involved, a lot of times the person is intoxicated in some way, shape, or form. They're usually hiding it very easily. You have to remember, I literally had a friendship get severed very recently because the person hid everything they thought about me, my relationship, and people who I care about, and it only came out because they had a plentitude of alcohol imbibed. And as a result, they let out a lot of things uh, that severed our friendship very quickly. Intoxicants can do a lot of damage in a situation like this. Oh, public policy experts need to know. We all need to know as citizens in a free republic so we can stop this. This is a horrible, horrible scene caused Man, caused by Marxists and socialists and those in the white. Did, did he just say Marxism caused rape? Did he just say socialism causes rape? That one I didn't, uh, that one I didn't hear incorrectly. That one I heard 110%. Okay, so uh, an old fucker uh, writes a bunch of bunch of books, uh, writes Capital, writes the Communist Manifesto, writes all that shit uh, hundreds of years ago. The time police break into his house. Future FBI, open up. 10 year old just got raped, your fault. What? Sir, what do you mean? I, I have done nothing. I have harmed no one. No, look, you wrote this about the proletariat. This somehow caused a rape. You're going to time jail. You, you got, you have to ask yourself. When these people wake up in the morning with their chicken nuggets and egos. Do they do they use any of their actual thought at that point? At what at what point in their day, in their daily routine, do you think the brain kicks on? Is it that you don't have enough coffee and then your brain just doesn't start? Or do you just not think the entire time? He's using every right wing keyword and it makes no sense. Yeah. White House who don't who want lawlessness at the border and then this girl can we can we talk about the fact that uh Biden actually just recently signed a budget deal uh that includes a lot of security at the border it just doesn't involve a fucking wall we we could talk about that we could talk about I believe it was like what a 30 million or 30 billion deal one of the two but we we could talk about that but it would play against their narrative that Biden wants lawlessness at the border to talk about publicly available information about policies Biden has signed to secure the border. We, we could we could do that, but it would be very inconvenient for them. Was politicized, politicized for the gain of killing more babies, right? That was the goal. And the goal is killing more babies. OK, sure. But to what end? Can you can you can you explain that one? And here's the thing. Let's assume for a moment that Every person who's an abortion activist just wants dead babies. We just want dead babies. We just, we, we see a baby and we meet the arithmetic starts going in our head. Ah, oh, God damn it. That baby needs blender. Baby plus blender equals good. Baby need blender for improvement. Can we just take a moment to think about that? To, to what end? You see, in the baby in a blender scenario, I'm, I'm wanting a smoothie with a shit ton of adrenochrome. That's what I'm wanting. But for most people, what's the end goal there? What's the end goal of killing thousands of babies? What's the... If, if you're going to say that that's the goal of the supervillains in your plot, okay, cool, but to what end? In a supervillain... When a supervillain gives his monologue about wanting to take over the world, and you ask them why, they go, because I think that the world is ran pretty poorly, actually, and I think I would do a better job running it. Okay, cool. Good. We got a motivation. Excellent. We, got, we had a point A to B, and we got a B to C, and we're good. 
Now, the villain probably would suck at running the world. He's probably a fascist. Who knows? Who cares? Point is, at least we can get the why. If the point is killing a bunch of babies, what 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 goal is there? What do we what do we manage with that? Vorkil says, once we can blend one million baby, women get super communist powers. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you see, Democrat Soviet Marxist like Joe Stalin Hitler Biden wants to make a cannon that shoots pregnant women into internment camps in Mexico Ganistan. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> so the villain your comic actually takes care of the homeless? Well, there you go. There you go. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> baby blue? No, baby red. No, 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 no. You're wrong, Ezra. Not baby red. Baby dead. Or have a s'more goose. But yeah, to what to what end? What is the actual thing we're trying to get to? See, for me, I want ammunition for my baby cannon. I have a point C. Where's the point C for most people? <laughs> so that was a joker there for a moment. You see, Batman, I love babies. I think they taste amazing. I'm going to get all of Gotham's babies and put them in a super blender, and nothing you can do can stop me. <laughs> like, there. That's... There's our super villain. We got our Fox News super villain. That's what, that's what they want, right? That's, that's the thing that they think really, truly exists, right? Said baby in yellow. No, 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 no. If you put the baby in yellow, then you'll you'll make it to where Green Lantern can't do shit. <laughs> Riga says that's what I was thinking. He <laughs> did a great Mark Hamill, just that it's a weirdly accurate Mark Hamill Joker. Jesus Christ! Now you want one of those parody superhero cartoons where that's the villain's plan? Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Babies are communists. So this is what happens when Joker gasses at woman. My God. Jesus Christ. That sounded like both the Joker and Eggman. Should be. As someone who detransitioned from a baby, I can confirm. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. So, again, we have just this really, really dumb argument from Fox News that doesn't make any sense when you give it just an, an iota of scrutiny. And they're going to try to villainize a doctor who did her job. And the evidence is apparently there that she did, in fact, report to multiple authorities. One of them uh, included uh, the abuse report to child services. She apparently did those things, and yet the attorney general is like, no, 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 no. Got to put a lens on her. Got to put a lens on her. We got to give her the burn. Uh, cool. Sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Fucking hell. The hero just comes in. You see, super communist, all babies are inherently drains on society. I choose to gather them all up and turn them into nutritious soylent green. So you can't wait for the judge to laugh him out of court. I hope. So she probably has a defamation claim against uh, the Attorney General or Fox. It depends. Uh, she would need to be able to claim damages. That's the thing about the United States. Defamation claims, uh, you have to be able to have damages. Is that is that what Catboy Milk is really made out of? You'll never know. You'll never know. So you didn't know the doctor was female. That explains a lot of the conservative vitriol. It It really does. It really fucking does. Anyway. So what do you think in the comment section below? Do you think that the uh, 
terrible supervillain that conservatives have tried to construct here uh, of illegal immigration uh, and everything else. Do, do you think this is all just a smokescreen for them to be assholes online? Because that's what it seems like to me, personally. Maybe I'm incorrect, but I, I'm perfectly fine being corrected in the comment section below. That all said, let me know your thoughts. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, everyone, Fenikigami, thank you for redeeming your points for an ara ara. You fucking degenerate. Anyways, insert the video tagline here.